Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a three pile pick a pile reading, and we are trying to find out what is going on with your person for those in separation. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So, yeah, what are they up to, right? This is a reading about your person. I have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. As you can see, I have a little chewy candies here because, you know, Halloween is just around the corner. So, you know, I thought I'd put up a little something sweet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see from these piles, right? What are they doing for those of you in separation? And uh, also uh, look out for... Um, uh, new love for the singles, right? I'm gonna do that next <laughs> All right, so hopefully you've had plenty of time to see which pile is like, you know calling out to you which color or whatever But with that being said, I'm gonna start with pile number one pile number one is first Okay, here is pile number one and we want to know What is your person doing right if you are in separation from somebody right put the candy right there? <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on here with your person. We do have the Eight of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. Three of Cups. Queen of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. The Eight of Swords. The um, Nine of Wands. The Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> For you in separation from your person, right? It appears that this person, this person, yeah, he is walking away from a situation. Walking away. Maybe there were lies and deception there. But they're walking away from a situation and they are... They're taking them, sending a message out to someone else, right? Somebody from possibly a third party, okay? Now, um, they're, they, they have a third party here, right? Three-party situation. They're going to be sending out a message to one of these individuals, right? They're walking away from one and going towards another one, right? So this person had, um, you know, other options, I guess. Um, one of those people that they're going to could be this Queen of Wands, whoever that is, right? And, uh, and, and you know, I, I'm talking about your person and what he's doing, right? Now, if you are involved in this, you got to place yourself where you feel you fit. You know, you could be here you, 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 or maybe not, right? I'm just saying. So, moving along. <clears throat> So this person may be sending this love message towards a queen of wands, right? Very passionate individual, fire sign possibly. And um, they have planted some seeds and they are waiting for something though, right? They want to do this, but they're waiting for something, right? So maybe they're working on something for, you know, to bring something to this person, right? Because we have the seven of pentacles and this is about waiting you know planting seeds trying to nurture something right to grow and with this eight of pentacles right next to it they're working on their craft right seven and then eight right and so they're working on themselves they're working on their craft possibly trying to build up some pentacles right and um, with this Knight of Cups here, we have the Knight of Cups twice. You see this? Twice. Right? This person is walking away from something that's just, you know, maybe it's the old them, right? It could be that. Or, you know, but there is some love here, right? Now, this person feels trapped in a situation because there's three party, right? Yeah, that right there. 
right? There's a three party right here. But one of those people is this person's, you know, sunshine, whatever, you know? Um, this person may want to fight for this situation. I think it might be that Queen of Wands because with this Nine of Wands here, this also will double as the Sun card. And the Sun card represents Leo, which is a fire sign. So this could be a person headed towards a fire sign, wanting to work something out, rebuild with this individual, right? But this person, like I said, is feeling uh, trapped. It could be mental, you know, trapped mentally in their head, could, don't know how to do this. How can they bring this offer? You know, because they did leave a situation. But now they're kind of in their head about how can they, you know, they don't know how to do this, right? They don't know how to go you know, put this effort in, because this is this person's wish fulfillment to go towards this queen of wands, whoever this is, and, um, yeah, this, this queen of wands, look, she's got a wand in her hand, she's carrying flowers there, she may be somebody who's very passionate and, and very, um, confident and strong individual right can probably possibly does very well with manifesting things um i see a dragon here and i don't this person could be year of the dragon i don't know you have to check chinese astrology for that year of the dragon this person could be in that year that this person would like to walk towards you know you may be year of the dragon you watching this video um <clears throat> but I do see here that somebody wants some sort of wish fulfillment. Now, I don't see the Ten of Cups here. This is the problem, right? And this is where this person might be feeling trapped because maybe this person is already in the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Or I don't know. Or maybe the Ten of Cups is just not here yet. We have eight, we have nine, but we don't have ten. Mm-hmm. And we have two ones, right? So there is a third party. There's somebody else here that's not being shown in this third party. But one is really being um, pointed out, especially. Now, when I'm looking at this and I see it this way, I'm starting to think that the third party interference here, it could be family. Right, sisters, cousins, mothers, uh, aunts, maybe standing in the way of this relationship, trying to prevent it from growing somehow, some way, working together to stop this knight from bringing any message to this Queen of Wands about wanting to work it out and, and, and maybe, you know, grow together. But somebody here is blocking them. This is also where this person may be feeling trapped, right? Feeling trapped in this situation because they're being blocked by these individuals who are fighting to prevent him from going towards his sunshine, right? Which is his wish fulfillment. Because he has a lot of emotions for her, okay? Your person. A lot of emotions for this queen of wands, whoever this is. <clears throat> And um, <clears throat> with this Eight of Pentacles, this person is working on his money to bring, you know, bring in the finances. And he might be doing that because <clears throat> when he comes to make an offer to this Queen of Wands, possibly, he's going to already have things lined up, right? He's going to already have started something financial, so you know she you know he's making some sort of he wants to make an offering to this person right mm -hmm. there could be a little bit of a distance you know maybe this person lives across the river a river or a body of water or something a lake I don't know because I see this night here he's he, he needs to cross his river to get over there you know what I'm saying yeah 
maybe in the mountains even somebody might be living in the mountains or by the ocean okay mm, or in a little town <laughs> or in the forest no i'm just kidding you guys i'm just saying you know i'm just messing around now <clears throat> so so yeah that's what i see here uh for pile number one uh let me know if it resonates uh with you and your you know you know, you don't really know, really. You know, you can't really tell. You don't know. You know, take what resonates, leave the rest. But if you're in separation, how are you going to really know if all of this is really happening? But this is what I'm getting for pile number one. I'm just letting you know that, okay? For those of you who did choose this one. You know, you may be feeling a little blue right now. <laughs> okay, that's goofy. All right, you guys. So uh, if it did resonate, please comment below. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, um, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful. Yes. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Uh, thank you so much for coming. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number two. Pile number two is next. Okay. Here's pile number two. <clears throat> for those of you who chose a little green chewy. What does it say? Lime fruit roll. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it tastes good. Yeah, so around Halloween, so let's find out about you and what is your person doing while you guys are in separation? Oh, we got the three of wands or three of swords, excuse me. We got the ten of cups, we have the seven of swords. Oh, shoot, man, we got the king of cups. Four of Pentacles. Ooh, the moon in reverse. I swear, you guys, I went through the cards. I went through them. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Wow. Two of Wands. Eight of Wands. <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Whoa. King of Cups. Queen of Swords. Oh, my gosh. Somebody's really going, he, you're, whoever this is, going through some shit right now, all right? Look. <clears throat> Somebody is going through some heartbreak when it comes to a happy family, happy home, marriage, relationship, right? There was deception there. Somebody has deceived this person. This person was in a relationship um, trying to make happiness for their life. <clears throat> And there was heartbreak there. Heartbreak. Because somebody was deceptive. Somebody was lying and cheating and all that stuff. Seven of Swords, right? Somebody got away with something, too. Um, they left. They even left. Uh, uh, what do you call it? I'm feeling like they even left. Uh, what do you call? Uh, evidence. Mm, yeah. Somebody was. Somebody stepped out of the relationship. And they left evidence. Somebody found it. Deception. Heartbreak yeah and it's i think it's this king of cups here that did this right yeah you have him twice here and he but there's something that he is he's watching somebody that he has love for this person actually this person wants the ten of cups but they did they, they were they made deception here that this person is heartbroken uh because of this ten of cups energy because of deception this person maybe wanted that but he he caused heartbreak first first and he he ruined his chances at getting it maybe could be this king of cups who is watching he's watching someone look at he's got that little telescope there and he's holding something close to his chest. He's keeping a secret. Look, here's the moon, okay? Secrets out about something. Secrets out about something, though, okay? That's the thing. He was, he was holding something close to his chest, but the secret is out now. The secret is out. People know. Whatever this, this person, whatever they were doing, they were watching, spying, whatever, this king who was holding something very close to his chest, the secret is out now, whatever that is um this three-party situation heartbreak situation involved uh backstabbing energy 
um somebody is definitely wanting to speak to somebody about this relationship thing that happened okay this ten of cups energy or whatever this was supposed to be either it was or it is or it ended or something like that but somebody wants to talk about it see they want to talk about this they want to talk about the deception that was involved here in this heartbreak This person uh, is going to be coming in passionately, um, talking about this heartbreak, or they're going to come in, uh, or talking about this deception, or they're going to come in and they are going to uh, try to create some sort of stability. They're going to try to come in quickly and do it, like, like be rushing. They're going to rush somebody. They're going to try to rush at somebody anyways. It's this King of Cups. He's trying to rush some sort of but but this is deceptive energy though that's the problem this is deceptive energy this is the seven of swords which is somebody lying cheating stealing and all that stuff so this king of cups is trying to come in to create stability but his intentions are lying cheating stealing and all that stuff right could be you know because you know when i pull these cards they're all in the upright unless unless one slides by like this one that I didn't catch and it just so happened to come out in the spread right but the other ones normally I pick are and it could be that somebody is coming to just talk about the deception that has happened to him right this could be it too you know because I didn't they didn't fly out I pulled them out that way you know so somebody could actually be um, coming and talking to somebody about how they were deceived into a marriage possibly or a relationship they were promised all the kinds of stuff but it ended in heartbreak right and all they wanted to do was create some sort of stability or something like that and they ended up getting backstabbed all right and this person is going to talk about wants to talk about this uh deceptive energy but he you know he's watching something right now he's he's holding something close to his chest or he was until the secret got out and the secret that got out is involving a queen of pentacles now these two they're not even looking at each other all right they might be together side by side but they are not with it and they are not with you know they're not they're not happy together they're not even looking at each other you know she's looking at him but he's looking away maybe he's looking at this deception that has happened because that's yeah that's what he's looking at he's looking at this deception and it could have been done by the queen of pentacles right that could be you or it could be somebody else now if you caused some some deception here or if you're you know you're in separation so this person is doing something with this queen of pentacles all right he's not looking at her but she's looking at him he's looking at something though he might be watching her he might be watching her because you see how the telescope is pointed right at her so maybe <clears throat> maybe what's going on here you could be this queen of pentacles that he's watching right but he's trying to play like he's not watching because, you know, this person knows that there was some deception and backstabbing energy here. And this person does want to speak. They do want to speak about something and they want to create stability. But this deception is standing in the way. You know what I'm saying? Something that has happened in the past in regards to this deception uh, is what's um, why this person can't come forward. Right this is the secret they're holding they don't want to tell somebody about something they don't they're trying to keep a secret the secret will come out though you know it'll come out because we have the moon in reverse and <clears throat> that this is telling us this is secrets revealed right this is about becoming illuminated it's about the truth comes out it might even come out at night it might happen at night uh-huh yeah mm-hmm so
So yeah, pile number two, that's what I'm getting here. I don't know. Uh, let me know if it resonates. Okay, I did want to remind you that this king and this queen, this king of cups and queen of, of, of uh, pentacles, they're both in the upright. So they're both thinking right. But somebody's still focused on this deception. Okay, let's Okay, that's that's basically all I have for you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you. Um, yeah, uh, keep it true love energy, right? Happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful, right? So, yeah, once again, thank you for coming. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile uh, number three. Thank you so much. Pile number three is next. Okay, here's pile number three. <laughs> what is your person doing while you guys are in separation? Let's find out. This is a little pink candy. What a flavor does this one say? Cherry fruit roll. It doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lemon one here. I'm not. I'm not too keen on the lemon stuff. So I like lemon. Just not in this candy form. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. Whoa, wowzers. We have the Chariot. Three of Swords. Darn. Six of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Okay. Next row. Seven of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords, Six of uh, Wands, and Five of Cups. Okay, look. So somebody got into something here. All right. Now, now you got to place yourself, you know, I don't, you're not going to be in this. Okay. I'm just going to say, you're not going to be in this because you're in separation. You want to know what they're, what's going on with them. Okay. Um, just take what resonates and leave the rest because how do we really know this is happening? Right. we got the cards. Kind of could be though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just keep an open mind here. Um, your person got into some sort of wish fulfillment situation, right? But this wish fulfillment because we have the ten of swords right next to it it was not wish fulfillment this was like a selfishness and excess situation somebody got into a relationship or a situation that was out of greed selfishness overdoing it right maybe even some sort of get back or something i don't know right but somebody here did that they went into some sort of relationship and they ended up getting stabbed in the back over there yeah they got stabbed in the back. They got screwed over and they, they left that situation. Now they left that situation because there was heartbreak there. Somebody that they got involved with also got involved with others, right? Six of pentacles. They were giving to others, right? They were cheating on this person, on your person. They were cheating with this person and that person given here and given there, you know, really doing the most. And this person, you know, definitely wants to speak to them about that. But, you know, they're going to end up having a conversation with this person about this heartbreak, this backstabbing. You know what I'm saying? But somebody may have taken off. Somebody may have taken off. Maybe this is why they haven't been able to speak to them yet. Because the person just like left town, ghosted them or something. Right? Left them holding the bag. Left them with the bills or something. I don't know. But I do see the seven of wands here and this person who got into this wish fulfillment situation, it was like competition, defensiveness. You know, it's like this person got into some competition to get this person. But what they didn't realize, if you got to be in some kind of competition to get with somebody, they ain't even worth, you know, leave that shit alone. Either they like you or you don't. What is it? It's not a game. It's not a competition. And But this is how this person treated it. And in the end, what happened? He lost. Because it was just a competition. And this person that they got with was just juggling with whoever, who knows, you know. Starting new, you know, beginnings all over the place. Sharing their wand around. 
right? And this person is like, how, you know, trying to make sense of this. Like, how could this have happened? How could this have happened? How could this heartbreak have happened to me? Well, it might be karma. Because the Nine of Swords is about somebody trying to figure out how, why, why could this, how did this happen? Right? How did this three, this heartbreak happen? You know? But somebody had victory given to whoever all over because they're not going to have to deal with, they ghosted, maybe they ghosted this individual and they're having victory out there with someone else. While this individual is dying to have a talk with this person, like what happened? Why did this happen? But instead, they're mourning over the loss of this relationship because the person has ghosted them, left them alone, and now they, they don't even know. They, they have no closure. Mm. They have no closure. And the thing is, is this person is giving to whoever, what, who, man, woman, don't even care, right? Hooking up with men, hooking up with women, um, just doing the most. I, I'm seeing that this person is liking to drink, so sh they probably this person probably goes out and gets all drunk and hooks up with who knows who, wakes up in the morning in someone else's bed and goes home and takes it home to your person. And this is where the backstab energy comes in. Maybe somebody may have gotten pregnant. And it could even be by someone else because this person was flighty. Mm. This person could have brought in a venereal disease, right? Sexually transmitted disease, this. Mm -hmm. Somebody may have had to been rushed to the hospital because of illness. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. And uh, somebody may have actually found somebody's uh, messages or secret notes about all these other, you know, people that they're going around with. Mm -hmm. kind of like a, a file of people so they can remember who is who and who they hooked up with that's crazy when you got to do that mm -hmm. but this person is really precise on their cheating habits they're real good at it they like to juggle they juggle a lot they share their wand around but you know because they did that it's left somebody wondering you know, about the relationship, about if they're going to talk to this person again, you know, mourning over the loss of this relationship. Because somebody has, you know, somebody has ghosted another individual here. There could be drug use here also, somebody using drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah, that's what I have. I also, oh, uh, and I also have that somebody also may be watching this person get backstabbed, and it might even be their friend, and they're not saying anything either to them. That's fucked up, too. That's messed up. They're, they're not saying anything, because maybe this, their friend even had a piece. Ugh. That sucks. Well... <laughs> not too exciting right uh that's kind of sad and suckish but you know um this is what i have for pile number three um if it resonates please uh comment below subscribe like comment and share right um good for karma points also keep it true love energy right happy friendly and loving types we have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful right i'm mona thank you so much for coming today Happy Halloween, or, you know, it's coming, it's right around the corner, you know, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I will speak to you next time.